So I see who's the real Nino Brown is. None other than Popeyes. They just about got people selling their mama sofas and clothes just to attain another one of these juicy Frank Lucas heroin chicken sandwiches that got ain't used to nothing folks out here fiending. Now I'm willing to bet that sandwich isn't at all what social media, especially black Twitter because they're the ones who started this frenzy to begin with, claims to be. Like, I don't want to share this with y'all. I'm sorry, I don't. Now, I'm not going to lie. Before I came to my senses, I tried in vain several times to get my hands on one of them breaking into people's houses chicken sandwiches. But the lines was wrapped around Popeyes like handcuffs on a peeping tom. And plus, people was falling out the damn doors. It was literally that many people waiting on the chicken sandwich. And it was at that moment, the thrill for me was gone. All the way gone. Never seen so many people in all my damn days at one place before, especially black folks. I hope we stand in lines like this come election time or a parent-teacher conference. That'll be good because we need a lot of parents up there with them children. I just don't believe that burger is that damn good. I just hell don't. And I'm like Downton Thomas. You just gonna have to show me. Now the fried chicken sandwich is available in both spicy or classic on a buttered bun. And it was released August 12th and went mostly unnoticed, which should have stayed that way, until a viral tweet from the official Chick-fil-A Twitter account took a stiff jab at Popeyes about them not having good sandwiches. And to me, that shrimp po' boy is not a good sandwich. I tried it before and I can leave it. You know how they say take it or leave it? I'm leaving that mother. <laughs> But basically, it was a back and forth debate with black Twitter freaking spearheading the free advertisement. Typical. Because that's all black Twitter do is just keep up mess. Thanks to them, they contribute to a horrendous stagnant drive throughs and lines wrapping around restaurants. For something I'm willing to bet don't even taste nothing like the hype. Now, some Popeye's manager way out some damn well stated that in only four hours, they sold 269 heroin burgers, I meant to say chicken sandwiches, and that they were close to 600 or 700 a damn day, said Derek Jackson, who's the assistant manager at Popeyes. That's a lot of freaking chicken sandwiches you pumping out a day, six to 700. And not to mention, you got some greedy ass people that's majority of the times ordering four or five burgers, perhaps, and just making sure that the rest of the customers don't get nothing because from what I'm hearing the chicken sandwich itself is so damn big why would you need two one you can get full off these suckers doing reviews and getting four or five burgers to take home you must ain't gonna cook for a couple of days huh <sighs> more of the story and according to a report released by apex marketing group Popeyes received an estimated staggering 23.25 million dollars in equivalent and value in media mentions across digital, print, social, TV, and radio in just 11 days. In just 11 days of this burger being mentioned, it got this much traffic. And see, much of this, like I said, is thanks to the buying power of Black Twitter, where memes, videos of people fighting employees, and stampeding restaurants all take place. And of course, polls concluding that Popeyes is the superior chicken witchcraft burger champion. Now get this, some woman said, they say it's good, so I'm here just to try it out, said LaQuanta Oliver. They didn't have it at the Popeyes in Quincy, so I drove all the way here. I hope it lives up to the hype. Girl, it won't. With a name like LaQuanta Oliver, you don't even need a picture. And all that hype started primarily through black Twitter, which is unbelievable. Just can't wait until the madness die all the way down, which it hasn't. Only seems to get worse day by damn day. Fighting, arguing. Listen, you had a manager straight cussing the woman smooth out about that Coke sandwich and was ready to strike the woman. I even had to call corporate on some ignorant, not ignorant, but ignorant woman yelling at me on the phone for simply asking do they still have those Frank Lucas. 
<laughs> I meant to say that they still have any of those chicken sandwiches. But anyways, I was inquiring before I make a blank trip up there to Popeyes, do they still have any of the chicken sandwiches? Before I could get any word out of my mouth, she went off. So I guess I was that last straw that broke the camel's back. So I had to call corporate and make a complaint, which they ain't gonna do shit about it. So, oh well. She kept yelling on the phone, yes, yes, about 400 times that they had the burger. So that finished killing what little bit of enthusiasm left for the burger I had. Man, so I just kicked back on the sofa and went to the complaint board. They ain't gonna do no good anyways, because that kind of restaurant chain Popeyes, they need horrible customer service. And halfway hate the world and their baby daddies and barely want to get up out of the bed every day. Chicks like them to keep running the show. And a whole bunch of used to be talked down to customers just keep lining up Popeye's pockets. I'm just really ready for this madness to be over with. Because I thought I was interested in that legendary Frank Lucas slash Nino Brown Coke Field drug addict burger. But after three tries, that was enough for me. And I realized then, hey, it ain't meant for you to get the burger. I've been watching umpteen reviews on YouTube about it, but evidently it ain't meant for me. And I finally woke up and I say, hey, this burger ain't nothing but pure madness. But who am I to judge? There's important issues at hand that nobody don't care about except the chicken sandwich. So I guess the chicken sandwich should run for president next time. But won't run down to your child's local elementary or middle school to see how they doing. But you want to run and knock down Popeye's doors. I was Priceless Road with yet another video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe. And until next time, everybody, y'all know the rest.